Okay. Um, not getting in the end zone after that first drive, how, how did that kind of shape the way that this game went for you guys? That was tough. Um, obviously, you know, had an opportunity there on the goal line. And to not come away with seven points uh, is one of those things we got to do a better job of, you know, as, as we move forward. When you're playing against a, a good football team, you know, a really good defense, really good offense, an offense that can score, uh, you know you have to come away with touchdowns. So that part was disappointing uh, for sure. But we kept battling and, and gave ourselves more chances, uh, which is what you have to do. You can't blink. Um, you know, but if we're looking for areas of improvement, that's, that's definitely one of them. right direction. I know Arthur Smith has talked a lot about staying on schedule and I was just curious from your perspective how that has improved in, in the course of the last two weeks. I, I, I do think I thought we ran the ball well. Uh, first drive of the game was was really good and uh, we continued to hammer away at it and um, you know I thought our offensive line running backs did a nice job with that uh, and it helps you know it opens other things up and, and helps in that area. Um, so I do think we made strides you know we're, we're getting better. Uh, now we've got other things that, that we've got to clean up along the way, but um, that was productive for us. Several of your teammates have expressed confidence today about where you are. Do you share that confidence? I think you have to. You know, I think we're in a spot, um, you know, obviously disappointed with the outcome of today's game. But this really good football team. And uh, I think, you know, I, I really think there were chances for us uh, to, to kind of change the outcome of that game. We got to. You know, we've got to be opportunistic as we move forward, uh, but but we have everything we want right in front of us. And um, ultimately, you know, this time of the year, that that's really all you can ask for. Uh, now it's about you know figuring out how to play you know our best football uh, in the next five weeks. And I don't think you can get too far down the road. I think you you really just have to focus on this next week and um, find a way to get a good divisional win on the road. How do you communicate to them that that confidence is great? We've done some positive things, but we now also have to get over the hump. Yeah, I think, I think that's, you know, you, you always want to have self-belief. Um, and at the same time, you've got to strive for daily improvement. That's one of the things Art talked about in the first meeting that we have. And so um, we've got to get back to work. We've we got to seek that growth this week and uh, really work on that during practice. Uh, and at the same time, you know, know that there are plays that are being made. There are things that we are doing well, and we got to build on those. You know, we have to make more of those types of plays, you know, throughout the game, and I think we're capable of doing that. Now, you all had it going early offensively, but then it went to, you know, part, fumble, part, 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 and then into the end zone there. What were you all not able to sustain? Uh, yeah, we had spurts, you know, um, but the consistency – you know, wasn't there. Uh, I think we were very consistent the first couple drives of the game. Uh, take away, you know, what we did uh, not scoring a touchdown, uh, at, you know, on the goal line. But I think there was better consistency there early. And uh, we just got to find ways to keep drives going and then finish drives. You know, when we get our chances, when we have our chances, uh, we, can't, we can't give them anything. And, um, you know, I think there were a few plays today, a few opportunities that, we all have to find a way to make those plays um, when we get those chances. Yeah, I think Marlon gets the score. He's sitting, you know, 2017 at the half. I know you wanted to come out and score there, uh, but the fumble, uh, Russ had him make a good play. Like he was, you know, in 37 that territory. Uh, you know, what happened there? How tough was that dealing with that situation, trying to move on from that? Well, I thought our defense did a nice job after that of getting another stop and, and giving us, you know, an opportunity to still go down there and, and take the lead. And so, you know, it's hard. Physical mistakes happen, and, and that's part of, of sport. Um, you know, th those kind of things happen at different times. Are they in our platoon? For sure. And I thought Russ bounced back and, and did some really good things for us uh, coming in late and, and made some plays and toughed it out uh, there at the end, and I appreciate him for that. And so um, there are things we got to clean up for sure, uh, and, and, and we got to, you know, we, we really, when we have our explosives and we make our plays, we've got to capitalize on those drives. And I think if we're going to be successful moving forward, you know, those are the things we have to do. I'm sorry. What happened at the bottom of the box? That's just, you know, an execution thing we both have to be better at. And, um, you know, across the board, there, there's, there's just no excuse for it. And so we, we both got to do a better job of that. Did you check out of anything there, or is that what Arthur called? 
No, those are the calls. And so, you know, again, we got to find a way to make those plays. You know, got to find a way for uh, something to come open. But really, I mean, it's, it's you know, first and second down, you still have opportunities on, on your second and third down. I mean, we had a penalty there as well. So we really have four chances. Uh, and, and we got to find a way to make a play. And even, you know, with it not being ideal, we still had a chance on third down. And, um, you know, Regardless of whether it's first down, second down, or third down, we got to find a way to punch it in. I don't know. I think uh, you know we've done some good things, you know for sure. Um, but we got to get back to work. We got to find the answer to that, so that you know in our stretch of the, of the last five games of the year of the regular season, um, we got to find a way to be better and. Uh, if we had the answer, we'd change it, you know, immediately. But we got to find a way to do it. There's been good, you know. I, I really think, you know, um, I always view confidence probably differently than you guys. I think that you know it comes down to how you work during the week, um, you know, how well prepared you are going into a game. Uh, what your practice week look like, what your film study look like, what your preparation with the plan. And uh, in professional sports, it's tough because, you know, if, if you're only deriving confidence from results, it's not always going to go your way. And uh, does our production need to be better? Absolutely. Uh, but the belief, you know, has to remain the same that, you know, as we get ourselves prepared during the week, we're going to make those plays as we move forward when we have our chances. Yeah, I think, you know, we're going against good, a good defense and a good, you know, front seven. And uh, we knew going into it, sometimes there's going to be tough sledding. And, and it's important that you try and protect the ball as best you can, stay on schedule uh, to eliminate some of those opportunities. But I thought our guys battled up front. You know, I, I really did. I thought they played hard. Yeah, how, how, how tired are you of congratulating Tom Brady after a football game? What do you think it's going to take to flip that, that script at the end? <laughs> uh, we'd like to win. Yeah, we'd like to win. That, that's for sure. Um, you know, but, you know, we, we've got to find a way, you know, in division to, to win football games, whether it be against Tom, whether it be, you know, Carolina Panthers coming up this week. We've got to find a way to get the job done in division. And uh, those, those games are always critical, you know, because they count basically one and a half uh, as you're going. And so um, you know, I'd, I'd certainly like to beat them. There's, there's no doubt about that. Um, you know, but I, I just think you know, we've got to focus on what's in front of us, and then we'll figure out you know, that whole deal the next time we play them. I'm just curious. This obviously, it's Arthur's first year as a, as a head coach. You've got some good moments. You've got some frustrating moments. You had both today. Really. How's he handled these things? Has his messaging been consistent? Is I think his messaging has has been consistent. Um, you know, from from the start of what he expects from us. Um, you know, I think the guys ha have bought in uh, and, and done a great job of that of trying to do what they're asking us to do. We all need to play better. We all need to find ways to win more games than we have up until this point. Uh, you know, but as far as from a leadership standpoint and. You know, being consistent with the guys and keeping the messaging the same and uh, every day, you know, trying to get better and, and trying to get the best out of guys. He's been very good at that. Well, I think it's it's all it's all year. I mean, it's it's about kind of not riding that roller coaster of, you know, being consistent. Uh, not getting too high, you know, in some of the, you know, wins that we've had. We've had some, some, some really good comeback wins, some, some stuff that, uh, you know, you should, you know, be proud of for sure. And uh, I think he's done a great job of kind of navigating that roller coaster that can be, you know, the NFL season of, of staying consistent, you know, focusing on what's next, getting back in, making corrections. You know, whether we win or lose, you know, being objective and, and being honest, you know, on Mondays and then coming in with great energy on Wednesdays of, of what the plan is for us moving forward. And uh, I think he's done a great job of that. Y'all have been able to be pretty consistent these last couple of games running the ball with Cordell Patterson. I'm just curious as to how do you find it? It seems like you ended up with 13 touches. 
how do you find a balance between, okay, I want to get this guy a certain amount of carries versus saying, okay, this guy is hot. We need to ride this high, ride this high end. Yeah, I think, you know, that's, that's for, for the staff. I mean, they, I, I think they work really hard on, on trying to get guys going, get guys involved. I think early on, you know, an explosive run for us that set up the touchdown on basically the next play. I think it was Mike who came in uh, for the next run. And so, you know, we got complete trust in, in both those guys to go out there and, and, and execute what we're, there, you know, asking them to do. But I think, you know, that falls on the coaches to find a, you know, balance of keeping guys fresh, you know, which, which is what you want for the fourth quarter, keeping their, their juice flowing and, and making sure, you know, that, that they're not overworked. But, um, I think they've they've struck a good balance of that because CP's production has been great. And, um, as far as uh, Kyle Pitts, you know, he started off with some solid production in the first half, and it seemed like we had like two targets in the second half. Like, is that just a matter of just the flow of the game, or do you think that Kyle may may be doing something <clears throat> that may or may not be doing something that you know to be able to give him the football? No, I think Kyle's doing a great job. Uh, I think it's just how the, how the game shakes out sometimes and the coverages that are called. Uh, you know, they, they see that too, and uh, they make adjustments to try and take away some of, of what he's doing. And I think, you know, he's got to stay the course. Kyle's done a great job in, in his rookie season of, of hammering away week in and week out trying to get better. And uh, I thought his, his route running was really good today. And it's just I tell our guys all the time, you know, the ball's going to find you at different times, but the coverage is going to dictate where we go. And uh, when it's your time, you know, and your numbers call, you got to make that play. And he's done a good job of that this year. All right, thank you. Thank you.